Okay, it's 5.40 a.m. We're getting an early start this morning because we have a tempo run, which is pretty tough for us. And we're getting a little bit of help from our friend Alvin. And he's gonna help us get through these five miles. Help these guys. Evan, how does your arm feel? Um, today it feels sore, but it hurts less than yesterday. What did you get a shot yesterday, Evan? I got a booster shot. Oh yeah, for a whooping cough, huh? Yeah. Before you go to school. Threshold Thursday, and we're gonna try to get five miles in the books. Cole and Alvin are going to pull us around the track this morning. We can use all the help we can get for five miles of tempo running. Let's do this. Thanks, Cole. Thanks, Alvin. Really appreciate it. Could have done it without you guys. You guys are our key, our chi. <laughs> Dang, man. So much for us. <laughs> so grateful. Good progress. I know, right? It's good to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant five miles of tempo running. Wow. Really well done. Cole leading out, staying real comfortable, staying calm, and keeping everybody relaxed. And Evan just smashing. All five of those miles, really well done. Everybody holding true to the float, keeping it nice and clean to two minutes, even when we took a hydration break. Man, Cole, you're so strong, buddy. Oh, thank you. Dang, I love it, I love it. Can't be any prouder of you, Evan, for being so brave yesterday, getting that shot, and then coming out here full of the DTAP booster being low on energy and still crushing that tempo run. Well, really well done, Heaven. Yeah. You're so mature and so strong. Yeah. Really tough workout today. Was super nervous about what was gonna happen. And it turned out to be really successful all across the board. So today, I'm gonna talk about the key to crushing hard workouts. All right, let's go. Evan's favorite part, waiting at the crosswalk. The DMV now. What for? My permit test. Okay, good luck, bud. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Hey Evan, I thought you were really brave yesterday while you were getting your booster shot. I was also a little surprised how strong you ran today in light of the booster shot. You know that the um, one of the side effects is uh, fatigue from getting the booster. Yeah, I, I, I need that, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't tell you on purpose, how'd you know? Um, I read it off the poster of all the um, descriptions about the different shots and then it said the symptoms of the shot that I got and it said fatigue. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Well last week you had such a hard time with the tempo run. Why do you think that you were able to do 
better today, even though the workout was harder and even though you had the booster shot yesterday? I think that um, I built up some mental strength and um, that kind of grew a little bit more. Where do you think that that mental strength came from, Evan? I think it comes from all the practice of thinking positive thoughts. And we also had a coaches club meeting yesterday. Oh, really? What did you guys talk about in the coaches club meeting? Everybody was giving Johnny um, some advice about um, finishing tough workouts. And it made me think about my tough workout tomorrow. And I thought about being positive and I prepared myself in advance by thinking about what to expect during the workout. So well, this morning, I wasn't really surprised. I broke the workout down into segments and I tackled each segment one at a time. So that made it a lot easier. Even though Evan followed a progression every week and had been building up towards this workout, she was at a physical disadvantage uh, because of getting the booster shot and being a little weaker from the vaccination. So I really didn't have um, a lot of expectations, especially be in light of the fact that um, tempo workouts are mentally kind of difficult for Evan and she's typically struggled every week on this particular workout. However, something changed for Evan this morning and she was able to really, really grab that workout by the horns and wrestle it down and just take over during those tempo miles. She didn't falter one bit, she didn't get gapped, and she stayed strong throughout the entire workout. And it definitely can't be because she had a boost in physical fitness, but rather she had a boost in mental fitness. And like Evan mentioned, she's had a lot of practice trying to remain positive when we talked about the workout over dinner and then getting a lot of positive vibes and advice during coaches club while talking to other athletes who are under my coaching umbrella. And I think just flipping this mental switch and rather than fearing this workout or being nervous about this workout, taking a similar approach to Cole and being a little bit more looking forward to the workout and getting excited about having an opportunity to show her ability to show her fitness and to show her own improvement. So what is the key to crushing really, really tough workouts? For sure, fundamentally, you have to make sure that you are physically ready and follow a training progression that gets you a little bit closer towards your goal every week. But the turnkey to making a giant breakthrough is definitely making this mental decision, choosing to take a positive approach, choosing to break down the workout into segments, understanding what are the obstacles and the hurdles that will be faced during the workout, and in the end, deciding that you're going to tackle it head on and make the choice to crush that tough workout. And so can you. Get mentally ready in advance. Use self-talk to motivate yourself and pump yourself up. Talk with your friends and family or your club mates. Get some advice from your coach. Watch some all heart videos. Prepare your mind in advance and go out there and crush your tough workout. Please like this video, help get it out to as many people as possible. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps out our channel a ton. So much gratitude to our lovely Patreon team and special shout out to our brand new Patreon team member, Colin Brown. We really can't do it without all of you. Thank you so much. Got Instagram or Strava? Then check us out right here for your daily dose of running motivation. Looking for a spring destination marathon? Then join us in Hilo, Hawaii at the Big Island Marathon. Use discount code ALLHEART for 25% off at registration. That's going to do it for us today and our sleepy heads. Watch out everybody and stay off the roads because we're about to pick up our Cole with his brand new driver's permit. Yikes. We hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye now.